Good afternoon on what is a mild, bright, uh, but blustery day. Um, it is Tuesday, the 30th of November, and I'm back in the nook in between the uh, promised blast of Arctic weather um, that we're going to have. Of course, I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a parcel to unbox. So, uh, okay, this has come from drive through to find out what's in it. Yes, drive through can tell by the amount of effort I've had to put into um, uh, opening. So, what's the, I've got two books in here, I see, and the first one is this. Um, which is Barbarians of Ruined Earth by Mike Evans, a fantasy post-apocalyptic setting using the Black Hack. And the Black Hack um, dates back, essentially, um, it's what, um, probably six, seven years old by now. Uh, it's an OS, OSR, Old School Renaissance, um, a derived retro clone going towards minimalist play um, that, um, as you do roll your whenever you do an action it's against one of your stats and also uh, makes heavy use of a resource die essentially you've got you've got some torches and it's represented by um, a, a, a six-sided die you roll the die every time you use a torch uh, and if you roll one or two um, next time you use a you use like a torch use the next lower die and when it gets down to a, a, a four-sided die you run out and that works the same exactly for uh, food and uh, missile weapons, you, you, you supply of um, arrows or um, slings or sling bullets and so on. Okay, um, so anyway, Barbarians of Ruined Earth uses the Black Hat. It's a very simple, straightforward um, retro, style, retro clone style game. So, uh, what can I say about um, Barbarians of the Ruined Earth? The tasty 89 full colour illustrations packed into this goddamn book doesn't already scream at you. I mean, aside from the fact that he uses a black hack, has four classes and four races, each with cool abilities, starting gear and tables to generate unique trinkets and life events, seven sample traps, new magic systems with 30 spells, new and fun equipment for the setting, including 12 weaponized um, animals, uh, hiling and vehicle rules, 14 pieces of stupendous science, 60 different mutations, 18 pieces of cyberware, 11 charts and tables for GMs to use on the fly, 46 adversaries to pit your players against, a point crawl in the ruins of Los Angeles area with its 13 locations, all channeling the spirit of Thunder the Barbarian, Mad Max Fury Road and Pirates of Dark Water and it's wrapped up in a 168 page sexy package. What is? What else is there? Not much I'm afraid. Generally that's on the back, that's the book about cover blurb. Um, so this is, uh, I would say, essentially, if you are looking straight off, if you're looking for a post-apocalyptic game and you don't want to do go with Mutant Year Zero from Free League or um, perhaps something like Mutant Crawl Classics, uh, all of which I really love and I do recommend you looking at those, this is a lighter option, um, in, mechanically at least. Um, you're still going to get all that, you know, post-apocalyptic weird goodness um, that you want, uh, and if it's basically, uh, if you're going with Thunder the Barbarian, the weirdness as well. Um, so what I've got this side, um, preface, basically nice, nice introduction, um, table of contents, so on. And it's really actually really nice to actually see a Black Hack game uh, done in colour, because um, all the ones I've, I've either read or actually edited they've all been in black and white so um uh, so we get to the point where um so it said color and we get a full color cartoon what happened to the world yeah the moon blew up um which isn't good um that was 2000 years ago um over 2000 years ago the world was torn asunder when uh, an alien planet crashed into our moon utterly shattering it destruction rained down from the sky nearly annihilating all life on earth humanity per persevered but the earth was forever changed as alien matter and genetic material mixed with our own and a new bizarre world rose from the ashes of the old a world of depravity stupendous science and nefarious sorcery uh, sorry i'm getting a bit wind swept out here um not content with the, the life of mundane toil, you've cast off the chains of oppression to travel the ruined earth with your courageous companions. Brave and bold, you pit your cunning sword and talents against the forces of darkness and tyranny. This is Barbarians of the Ruined Earth. 
Um, it says basically what is this? It's a quick and easy rules like post apocalyptic heroic fantasy rock game. It is based upon the awesome Black Hat game, Black Hat rules, um, and essentially uh, inspired by the animated series Thunder the Barbarian, Mad Max, uh, He Man, and other sources. Um, so we've got the four classes we've got are uh, Barbarian, so basically it covers your warrior, Death Priest, um, essentially. Um, Basically, they draw upon the, the, the energy of all those who've died since the Great Calamity. That sounds like an awful lot. Um, scavenger that live on the fr uh, live on the fringes, looking for trinkets, bits, and baubles. Urchin, quickly but forgotten children, surviving on their own in the world outside the civilization. And you've got new non-human classes: beast man, sorcerer, robot, and vec or raptor folk. So you can play dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, bright, cheerful, deadly. Uh, an artwork, yeah, that is very much in the style of He-Man or uh, Thunder and the Barbarian. Um, but, uh, so really kind of easy to to, um, to read. Um, also accompanied by nice pieces of artwork with basic action there. Um, and each class is essentially um, explained in a couple of pages. So you've got the Barbarian there. And then we go on to the Beastman and so on uh, in alphabetical order. So Scavenger. And basically, just to see who's done the artwork on here. Let's have a look. Um, to artwork. Um, yeah, uh, to Matthew Adams, uh, uh, to Fred Daly, Kelvin Green, James Hansen, Mark Hildebrand, David Lewis Johnson, and JV West. JV West is a name you'll recognise from the Black Pudding um, fanzine, uh, which I've opened up several times, uh, or I've unboxed several times on here. Um, but, uh, and so what we've got, let's have a look at the class. So essentially what we've got is a uh, basic stats, a guide to the class, uh, special features, um, what to do when you level up, um, it's mostly the same for each class, and they've starting equipment, and you've got a life event table. So a bit of variety there. Um, you know, it means you, you know each time you come to play it, um, you know, you might you might play one game and then you come and play another, and you know, each each character will be slightly different in in, in some way. Um, so. But, uh, so multiple different classes, uh, some human, some non-human, um, and then uh, let's have a look. Let's see if there's anything between there? No, no. Um, yeah, basically, some barbarian has discovered some mighty engine of destruction there. I really like this artwork. It is very, uh, it's very sort of like um, it's over the top and cartoony. Um, uh, let me go on to equipment. So you've got a variety of basically um, some kind of blaster, some kind of um, you know, gauntlet sword, and basically there's the shield. Basically your typical car door um, scavenged off an old vehicle. Um, uh, we've got hiring rules and that's very much uh, JB West um, artwork. Uh, the State of the Ruined Earth, Chapter 4. Uh, new world, rifts in space, refurbished, ref refurbished and restructured, and so on. It basically gives you a guide to what it's like and um, how it how how it has changed since the Great Cataclysm. Um, and we go on to stupendous science. Example uh, with, with with examples of stupendous science, um, but, uh, including the Devastator, a large robot that allows a person to ride inside and cause havoc with impunity. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be an illustration of uh, uh, the devastator. Because um, who doesn't like having a great big giant robot? Um, and again, uh, we have here something that's very Thundar, Thundar, Thundar Liberian style. But, uh, and um, mutations, um, the claw. Um, 
And here we've got, this is almost verges on sort of like superheroes and sort of like, but again, um, over the top sort of like um, fantasy um, in a post apocalyptic age. And we've got a gems, gems tool, so we've got an adventure generator, um, to a village generator, punishment to the ruined earth. Even though people have got their cultures and things they don't like you doing, concoctions of the ruined earth. I mean, all of this, I love this, just set tables, so you can just, the GM could just roll on uh, and add to her game. Um, interesting location generator, continued. So, you know, you can, as I say, there's almost a degree of the procedural here, um, and, um, uh, you know, going out and exploring the, um, the world, um, you know, almost on a whim, as it were. Uh, but got bestry, a lengthy bestry, um, so, don't worry, the aliens are already amongst us. So it's got alien, vampire, spider, lizard. <laughs> um, you know, how much could you pack into one monster? Uh, and that's followed by the animated trash man. Um, you know, at, uh, we've got Ant-Man, Queen, Ant-Man Warriors, Ant-Man Workers, um, Apoids. Uh, and there is a company by Fantastic, sort of like, slight, ever so slightly uh, tongue-in-cheek artwork um, that, uh, that really sets the tone um, at, um, <laughs> uh, and since it's a post-apocalyptic uh, future, um, we have a car golem. Well, this is a fantastically inventive range of monsters. I mean, some of them, you know, or a car, even better, a car serpent. Um, what I love about this is, is that, you know, it's taking um, sort of classic um, Dungeons and Dragons style uh, monsters and um, basically adapting to the genre. Um, and uh, not all together seriously. Um, uh, I think that's absolutely great. Um, you know, giant Praetor's ma Prey Mantis on its to scale, so you can see how giant it actually is. So great artwork in here. Um, I really like this. Um, uh, you add an, an element of horror with a killer clown. <laughs> Some really, I said really silly stuff in here. Um, uh, but yeah, um, so raiders, raider leaders, robots, uh, rock monsters, um, skeletons, um, but giving it it's sort of like you said, the post apocalyptic twist. But, uh, so, um, and oh, this is really, um, uh, this is probably my favorite. Uh, he's a telepath. So puns too. I approve. And then we get uh, the last we've got section of, of um, the Western lands. So it's basically that's going to be um, California as is. Um, but, uh, um, here we go. And just really simple uh, um, map of the area. So you can just run a sandbox in this. Because um, there's loads of places um, you, you could visit. Um, at, um, uh, you know, I've got a couple of friends out there, both called Scott. Um, at, um, uh, Scott hasn't told me about it, but I'm sure he's got a bunker in the basement because, you know, um, his house is big enough. Um, hey, hey, hi, Scott. Um, at, uh, Scott also does unboxing videos. They're completely unprofessional. They're even more unprofessional than my unboxing videos. Um, although he does his insta inside. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, lastly, we've got an appendix of um, sample tower blocks and uh, creating bonds between. So basically, creating bonds between the characters and so on. Um, and there's the character sheet. So yeah, I, I really like the look of this. I've been meaning to get hold of uh, get hold of this um, for a while um, because I uh, one of my favourite. Well, you know, amongst many genres I like for role playing is post. It's the post-apocalyptic. The post-apocalyptic because it's fun and bonkers and weird and over the top. Uh, you know, you go right back to um, Metamorphosis Alpha for that, the Gamma World, the Mutant 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 Classics, and then you get the dry tones essentially of um, things like um, to an extent Twilight Two Thousand, and then even uh, Mutant Year Zero. Uh, but I like the genre, and it's 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 it's, it's set up sort of like you've got an, um, an interesting future in which to investigate and explore uh, and have adventures. So yeah, that's Barbarians of the Ruined Earth. Looking forward to doing a review of that.
In the meantime, thank you very much for watching another unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, um, please do click on the like button down below. And if you've got any comments or feedback, appreciate you posting them and I do take the time to read them. And lastly, uh, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings uh, in the nook where you will see me uh, out here uh, with a parcel uh, and a book or a game uh, which I will unbox and talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for uh, roughly 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by um, a nice hot cup of tea then please do hit the subscribe button once again thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon with another unboxing look Bye for now.